Steve Oswald. It is an amazing revelation in a bizarre story that all began back in 1982. That's when 12-year-old paper boy Johnny Gosh disappeared. He was on his paper route in West Des Moines at the time, and now his mother, who has never given up hope, says he's alive and well and came to visit her nearly two years ago. News Channel 8's Todd Megal talked with Mrs. Gosh today. She told him why she waited two years to speak out about Johnny's visit. I did see Johnny in March of 1997. I, he came here very late at night. Noreen Gosh says her missing son Johnny knocked on her apartment door without any warning almost two years ago. And now she's ready to tell her story. He's angry, he's bitter, he's um, full grown, but still has had the, not the benefit of a college education, job skills, any of that to get along in life with. So it made me very sad. But why wait two years to reveal this stunning news? Well, Gosh was in Omaha on Friday testifying in the civil trial of a man named Paul Benassi. For years, he's told the Gosh family he knows what happened to Johnny Gosh. Now Benassi is suing an Omaha businessman who Benassi says sexually assaulted him as a child. Noreen Gosh was on the stand confirming Benassi's story when the bombshell dropped. The attorney asked me if I had had any personal contact or, in fact, had seen or talked to my son. And I was under oath, so I had to answer. So what's happened to Johnny Gosh after all these years? His mother says he spent about an hour in her home describing his life. He's 28 years old now. What? He told me how he was kidnapped. Um, at first he was so drugged that he didn't know where he was at, but he could then... Uh, relate some of the names of the people that were around him that he was able to latch on to names. He told me how they traveled all over the country. They were used for pornography, prostitution, compromising businessmen and politicians sexually. These kids were used in a royal fashion like none of us would ever dream of. So what does law enforcement think? Well, Polk County Attorney John Sarcone says if Mrs. Gosh believes the story, then he's not about to say anything different. But West Des Moines Police Captain Bob Rushing tells the Associated Press that Mrs. Gosh has told similar stories before, only to recant them later. I know that there are people in this town that don't believe it. They don't want to believe it, so they say Noreen Gosh is nuts. I don't care. I simply don't care. My first responsibility is to my son, because I'm the only one he has left. Todd Magel, News Channel.